My name is Ned Ledoux and I'm from KC, Wyoming. It's just a little town just below the Bighorn Mountains and uh, northeast Wyoming. Um, and it's just a kind of a simple way of living lifestyle out there. Well, if you're a rodeo fan, you know Chris Ledoux is a high school champ, college champ, the 1976 Bareback World Champ. If you're a country music fan, you know him as a great singer-songwriter, um, probably put on one of the best shows in the business. But if you're me or any of my siblings, you know him as dad. And it's, that's about as simple as I can put it. I got interested in playing music from watching my dad's band play. And they always looked like they were having fun up on stage and, and it sounded good. And I got a drum kit when I was about five years old and started taking lessons in that and then got my first band when I was about 14 and it just kind of just kind of took off after that. I got into dad's band when I was about 21. It came from an accident. Uh, K.W. Turnbow, his drummer, uh, got in a car wreck and the doctor said he'd probably be out for close to a year and so they only had like three days to find somebody else and so my dad asked me if I'd like to come in and, and give it a try. I felt like I was taking these small steps to reach a, a certain goal, and uh, but then once I got in my dad's band, you know, it was like I got off the stairwell and took an elevator straight to the top of the building, and and then all of a sudden we're playing with the groups like uh, you know Sawyer Brown and Toby Keith and Garth Brooks, and and it was a, a rush. Yeah, my mom was going through my dad's office a few months ago and just doing some organizing and some cleaning. And she was going through the desk and found a stack of papers that had song ideas written on them. And there's no telling how long ago um, he wrote these down. But mom sent them to Mark Sissel, who was my dad's guitar player and road manager. And as soon as Mark got them, he mailed them to me. And he thought, man, Ned, it'd be kind of neat if you could take one of these ideas your dad started and, and finish it. And it'd be a brand new song by Chris Ledoux co-written with his son. And so it's, uh, it was a neat idea, but it was easier said than done because I've never written a song in my life. <laughs> um, so I picked out two or three ideas that I thought sounded pretty good. And then I joined up with a guy named Mac McAnally, who's probably one of the top songwriters in Nashville. And, uh, and he's got a, a great history with my dad, produced a couple albums, uh, wrote some songs for him. And uh, so we finished a song, and uh, we're pretty proud of it. But yeah, this new song, um, I think, will be kind of a good tribute to Dad, in a way. Because um, it's the way of life that he lived. And it's just a, a simple way of living, you know, with blessings big and small. And, and the title of the song is, You Can't Tell Me We Ain't Got It All. But where I want to go from this point on, is kind of following his footsteps, you know, sing the kind of songs and write the kind of songs he would probably write, but kind of throw my own life experiences into it. And that's, that nails it right there.